There's something very specific about dancing glass pieces because it really does feel like a world of its own. My name is Russell Janzen, and I'm a principal dancer with New York City Ballet. Glass Pieces is a ballet choreographed by Jerome Robbins with music by Philip Glass. It's an abstract ballet, although there are a lot of real-world references that I think are visible in the choreography. The big challenge for the first movement was to not hit the corps de ballet. None of the people doing the crossings have a set path. They're walking in kind of random patterns, and if someone's in the way, they're in the way. <laughs> I always think of that hall in the middle of Grand Central Station. It's people crisscrossing everywhere, walking in their own path to wherever they have to go. I think in the city, I always feel like I kind of get stuck in my own world, whether it's the ballet world or just like the track that my life is taking right then. You know, I get on the train and then I transfer and then I go to work and I'm very singularly focused for the rehearsals that day or for the show. There is kind of a impersonal way that people move through the city, especially in the in-between spaces. And you're all leading these very separate existences, but sharing space. And I think Robbins really captured that in Glass Pieces. In the second movement, the Padida starts with this line of women doing a kind of stylized walk. And then the principal couple enters and poses in a very statuesque pose. I think that line of women is representative of all the kind of behind the scenes work and activity that is always happening in New York. 24 hours a day, there's always movement, there's always people. Glass Pieces is different from some other Robbins ballets in that a lot of the other works of his feel like very intimate portraits of people. And I think Glass Pieces still is about humanity and is about how people interact with each other. It's just like a very physical way of interacting. You really have to plan out where you're gonna step. You don't wanna take too many extra steps because it will kind of ruin the effect of this slow, steady duet. I think the biggest challenge is really maintaining that kind of like moving through water quality. It's a special ballet for me in a lot of ways because I've really worked my way through a lot of different parts in it. It's really made me appreciate not only the part that I'm doing, but also these other parts. And it's one of the few Robbins ballets I get to do, so I treasure it for that too. I think all the core dancers really love this ballet because it's incredibly challenging. The music is so exciting and you feel so accomplished at the end of the ballet. The core is 100% the star of glass pieces. I think even when there are really wonderful things that the principals and soloists are doing, the takeaway images are still the core. So I think in that way, the ballet does represent what New York City Ballet is about because it very much showcases this big group of wonderful dancers that we have. The audience loves glass pieces. Between the music and the costumes and the movements, I think it's probably one of the more accessible pieces that we do, while also showing the audience exactly what ballet is and how incredible it can be.